Hi, I'm Sean Vera, CEO and founder of Motion DSP. Today I'm going to do a demonstration of our new Ikena ISR software, accelerated by OpenCL. Many times when you have video, you have a source that is low resolution and you can't see what's in the video. For example, uh, the numbers on a license plate. And so we created Ikena to automate the process of reconstructing video. Here you've got a videotape from, uh, made with a cell phone. It has poor resolution and we can't see the detail here. Um, I can simply choose a preset in Ikena, turn on the processing, and we can read the license plate. Uh, we want our customers, like law enforcement and uh, people in the military environment, to spend their time thinking about and analyzing the video, not reconstructing the video. We're trying to just instantly get better video for the operator, because the person who's on the ground who's trying to understand what's in this video doesn't want to be a video expert. They, want to know, they don't want to know about stabilization and deanalyzing. They just want it better. So there, they choose a preset in Ikenna, the video is instantly fixed, and then they can spend their time doing what's more important, which is really understanding what's in the video. So when we started, Motion DSP software ran on uh, traditional CPUs, and there it was uh, effective but slow. It was not able to do any type of processing in real time. We started working with graphic processing units and porting our software to run on that architecture back in 2008. Uh, and now, thanks to the GPU, we're able to do the same type of reconstruction on live streaming video. Here, we're enhancing the video uh, on the fly, and we're using the GPU. And here, we're able to get 30 frames per second, no problem. Now, watch what happens when I turn off the GPU. Now, we're running on a very good high clock rate CPU, but as you can see here, we've only got 9 frames per second. And you, know, you might think, oh, well, it's only a third, third worst. What, what's the big deal? Well, the key thing is, if it's not real time, it's useless. For a live operator, they need to have better video instantly. And that's really our differentiation, and that's thanks to the GPU. From looking at the original video, it's very hard to see how many people are on the vessel. But with the enhanced, it's immediately apparent that there are two people on the vessel. The example I'm showing you here is only standard definition. Well, when you go to 720p and 1080p, we're talking about three and six times the number of pixels. So the only way you can scale to those types of resolutions is with the GPU. There were really two key benefits to moving to OpenCL for us. The number one was the amount of performance that we could extract from the AMD hardware uh, gave us a level of performance we didn't have before. What that means to our customers is that for now, for the first time, we can do our real-time processing on 1080p video. That's number one. The second is we're able to do more streams of video on a single card than before. So before, we were only able to do three streams of standard F video. Now we can do six. That's very important to our government customers because they need more scalability in a small hardware form factor.